Hey guys, got a new t-shirt coming at you real quick. You've been super supportive with these and I really appreciate it. They've done so well. We've had a joke in our industry for quite some time that as long as there's an internet, we can't get fired. And so I present to you the Can't Get Fired Productions Vintage Style Tee. We have been joking about making this shirt forever and now I'm super happy we finally have. You can only get it until September 22nd. But get the Can't Get Fired Productions Vintage tee. This is like my new favorite t-shirt now. I love this thing so much. I'm going to be wearing this everywhere. Uh, and only through September 22nd. Thank you for watching The Smoking Tire. Now enjoy your one take. Morning everybody. Welcome uh, to the Angeles Forest. This should be special. Not only is this uh, a beautiful uh, Dodge Coronet 566. Yeah. Uh, but uh, this is uh, Alex, and thank you for joining me, no, sir. Thank you for having Alex me. has really put some custom touches <laughs> into this car that you just some of my favorite types of touches that you don't notice at first, but they're really uh, they're really there and they're really interesting. So tell me everything about this Coronet. Uh, well, I just uh, got it from a buddy of mine who had parked it for 10 years back in 2013. Mm -hmm. Started putting it back together. Got lucky two years ago. Kinda. They totaled my truck and <laughs> dropped the five seven Hemi from that thing in here, and so a modern yeah. a modern five seven Hemi from yeah. a Ram. Yeah. Uh, and then you've got a four speed gearbox. Yeah, it's an A eight thirty three. It's okay. an overdrive unit though. It's from the mid seventies. With a pistol grip shifter. Yeah, had to go with a pistol grip. Yeah, and then and then in here there's a lot of details. These seats are not original. No, no. They're what are these from? Me. Um, uh, just got them off of Summit, off uh, the they're Pro really, Cars. They're actually yeah. really comfortable. Yeah, they are. Good, good was, lateral bolstering. Yeah, I was pleasantly surprised when I ordered them. And, and then you've got the... uh, actually keyless go. Yes. Push button start. Yes. And uh, and uh, remote controlled roll up windows. So I'm just gonna yep. fire this thing up. Go for it. Nice and smooth. Yeah. Sounds great. Uh, these gauges, you say you made this gauge cluster? Yeah, I made the gauge cluster because originally these things had like the uh, rectangular uh, gauges. Oh, the horizontal. Yeah, one. and then uh, because I was the stuff I was doing, I wanted them. I wanted to go electrical gauges, mm -hmm. but then after sourcing out the pricing, I was like, you know, I'm just better off getting new gauges. So that's when I decided to get a new cluster, cut it out, and oh, set in all great. the the new uh, plates and stuff for it. That's awesome. And the parking brake is on. Yes. So yes. Gonna, okay. Pull that. There you go. And then you've got a tablet down here, which is for your EFI. I mean. Yeah, it uh, basically monitors whatever systems EFI is uh, tapped into. All right, let's go for a drive. So, boy, is that that is some shifter throw, isn't it? Yeah. And okay, the clutch take up is pretty high, but easy, communicative. Yeah. Oh, oh no. <laughs> uh oh. No, just go ahead and hold the just hold the button until it clicks. Oh, okay. not bad. Yeah. All right. Round two. Try it again. This time with more room. There we go. Oh, do we have air conditioning? Yeah. Oh, let me close the windows. I didn't realize we had AC. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, buddy. Listen to that. Is that okay? The 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 one the shifter is a little vague. Yeah, that's. Uh, <laughs> but then again, you know it's. Uh, it's a '66. Yeah. Well, the, oh, mid '70s. You said. Yeah, right? it's still it's running the external linkage and stuff on it. Uh, I try to remove as much slop of it out of it as possible, but. Tell me about the suspension because for a muscle car, this ride's pretty good. Yeah, it's uh, basically stock, uh, stock sway bars, the rear leaves. Uh, I upped the uh, spring rate a little bit, uh -huh. and then the shocks are the Hotchkiss Fox shocks, and it's got sway bars front and rear. Okay. Oh, brake pedal is not bad for a muscle car. It act, it's usually the muscle cars are like nothing, 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 nothing. Er, no. Yeah, that's probably because it's got the disc brakes up front. Yeah, this has actually some some decent pedal feel. It's really got the sound, you know. Yeah. What does this motor make in the truck? Uh, in the truck, it makes a restricted like 345. Okay. And uh, what about here? Theoretically, here it should be closer to 400, but I haven't had it on the dyno or anything. But it's a lot more opened up because those years they. Uh, they only allowed a certain amount of CFM to run through the manifold. Right. Because it was a fly-by-wire. Oh, wait, am I, am I not in here? Oh, that's for it. Oh, that's, it seemed like, it, oh no, is it popping out? Uh, it might be. Is that, is that a thing that happens? Every once in a while, but it ha 
happens in second and fourth, they gotta adjust that stop. Well, I got a nice straightaway here, so I'm gonna muscle car it up for a second. Go for it. Ah, it sounds the business. Yeah. 
I, I get it 100%. Yeah. I'm totally with you. And that's the purpose, that's the reason why I built it the way I did was it's not supposed to be a race car. It's just supposed to be enjoyable. No. You can take it long, short drives. It doesn't matter. How does it, I mean, right now we're cruising, well, I, I guess I don't want to, uh, we're doing 72 yeah. at 2600 RPM. Yeah. That's not so bad. No. How many miles were on this motor when you when your truck yeah. got totaled? Uh, 177,000. You cleaned up the motor pretty good. You know, I, all I did was just clean up the heads and then, you know. Drop it in. Yeah, drop it in. I had the heads reworked because uh, they're kind of notorious for dropping the exhaust, uh, the exhaust seat. Uh -huh. Is the, now, my muscle car knowledge is medium. Is the Coronet the same as the Plymouth GTX? Yeah, it's the it same is, as the right? GTX, the is satellite. That a, is that a B-body? Yeah, B-body. It's a B-body, yeah. right? Okay. And the underpinnings on the 66, so I'm pretty sure all the way up to 70 are very similar. There's so almost very what engine change. did this come with originally? This one actually had a 318 poly okay. with a automatic transmission. When I got it, it had a 360 Magnum with a 727. Okay. And uh, eight and three quarters uh, dip. But the guy had my uh, buddy had set it up with for drag racing, so he had 411s out back. Oh, so it was probably impossible to drive. Yeah, it was a nightmare. 411s sound like a good idea until you actually drive a car with 411s. Yeah, doing 40, it sounded like I was, you know, hitting the home stretch on the corner, down the going down the street. <laughs> so what is it now? Uh, now it's 355s. Yeah, that's uh, right. So it's a lot, you know, a lot tamer. Yeah, the shift throw is about 18 inches, but yeah. but it, it, it takes you back. It gets you uh, it gets you in period, as it were. Yeah. It sounds right. I'll give you it sounds right. And it's actually got pretty good throttle response too. When you go to flip it. It's yeah. Nice. And I know I'm leaving a lot on the table right now. Just for power. Yeah. There's a lot being left on the table on it because it. The, I'm running an MSD uh, uh -huh. ignition on it to run the coils, but that and the uh, EFI don't really talk to each other, so I kind of have to give it some kind of set point, uh -huh. and I just ballparked it, it's pretty close, but it's not, you know, it's not optimal. I mean, look, it feels like it's got good power, like, you know, yeah. would, it, would an extra 50 horsepower make a big difference? Uh, not really to me. Yeah. To me, what's impressive is the, the utter lack of rattles. Oh, okay, For a yeah. car that is not a million dollar pro touring build, you would expect some rattles, and there honestly aren't any. Your uh, your Millennium Falcon yeah, uh, <laughs> visor thing is, is the only thing I've heard rattle in this whole car, which is very yeah. impressive. Thank you. Although, are Mopars unibody cars? Yeah, they're unibody, unibody car? yeah. That might be why that helps. you get less rattles than yeah. you do with the other cars, right? Yeah, that yeah. and all the new weather stripping on the doors. Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is weather stripping insanely expensive for this like it is for everything else? No, it's actually fairly cheap. Uh, That's good. Well, the stuff I had for, to buy. For a car that I wanted was like $1,500. It was crazy oh, man. for some rubber. Wow, Alex. The car looks great in pictures. Thanks. The car looks great in person. The car drives great. You've got some these the touches with the start button and the AC and the comfy seats. I mean, it feels like an old muscle car, but it's got just enough. Yeah, just modern enough. convenience. Yeah, yeah, man, I'm super hey. about it, dude. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you thank enjoy you. it. Thank you. What a treat it is to drive cars like this that aren't <laughs> scary and are set up well, and I'm not sweating my balls off yeah. in here. That what was a, the other thing I wanted to make sure. Oh, what a AC delight! Worked, yeah. What a delight! I mean, because it gets hot out here. This yeah, can be it does. brutal. It really can. Yeah, it does. Thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate you coming out. No. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed that, and we'll see you later.